Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The Holy Servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is July 22, and we celebrate the feast of Saint Mary Magdalene. The Gospel said, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, Mary of Magdala was among the women who assisted Jesus and the apostles as they traveled and preached the good news. This Mary stood at the foot of the cross, and was the first to encounter the risen Lord. The Byzantine liturgy claims that Jesus made Mary Magdalene the Apostle of the Apostles. The first reading is from the letter to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us, once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore, all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation, the old things have passed away, Behold, new things have come. Responsorial Psalm My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek, for you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts like the earth, parched, lifeless and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory, for your kindness is a greater good than life, my lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live, lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you, your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Tell us Mary, what did you see on the way? I saw the glory of the risen Christ, I saw his empty tomb. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to John On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. Reflection Jesus had pardoned Mary's many sins. In the Bible, she demonstrated her contrition by cleaning Jesus' feet with her tears and wiped them with oil. She also dedicated her whole life following Jesus 
being one of his disciples. She was also with Mary, our mother, at the foot of the cross. Jesus forgave Mary's many sins. She is someone to be emulated if we are ready to repent our sins. As shown all throughout the rest of her life, God's forgiveness was very evident. That's all for now. If you'd like to have your daily dose of the Word of Our Lord, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on such and other related uploads like novenas and prayers. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all. Thank you.